I just wanted to mention another handy tool that you could use. You could use those online planner tools like smallblueprinter.com slash garden slash planner dot html. This can allow you to create uh, gardens pretty easily. For example, I could create, um, uh, you know, lettuce or uh, I could add trees. Maybe I want to have a large tree over here, a small tree over here. Maybe I could, I should actually add the grass. Um, to, how do I find that, the ground cover? I could add a large lawn uh, like that. Maybe I can change the size of the lawn to how I defined it before, the width to be 12 meters, the length to be 15 meters. Um, and, then, and then play around with these objects to see how we can, uh, you know, make our backyard look really, really good. And the, the scale should actually be quite accurate if it is actually being used for architectural visualization and things like that. So it allows us to very, very quickly plan the architecture for our, for our scene. So a washing line, I might put that there. Um, I might add another washing line over, I don't know, here. And uh, might change the rotation to be 90 degrees. Oh, sorry, wrong object. 90 degrees. Um, and then move that here. Uh, might push that down a bit. And scroll this down slightly. Push that down. Move everything a little bit over. Uh, and then move the washing line down. And then here I might add in there's a little shrubs and plants like here, here, and basically you can you can take your time with this. You know, there's no rush. This this part actually should be quite fun. You get to design your own thing. I I I'm actually rushing it to be honest. I'm not actually taking my time to create a nice one. I might actually take my own time and maybe show you a, a better design later. But just for the sake of uh, brevity of this tutorial, I'm just uh, rushing through all this. So just creating. Uh, a number of different plants. It should look pretty good. So once you're happy with that, just go ahead and file, print, and well, you don't have to print it to the printer, you can change it to PDF. Unfortunately, on the online version, you can't save an image. It looks like you have to uh, purchase some software of some sort. That's generally trying to be quite typical. Oh, look, that's my that's my movie, that's my animated movie. Google AdWords is quite smart. They, they, can, they know what you search and then they show the ads that are targeted to your, to your search. So I've obviously been searching my own rendering somewhere and it's now popping up there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, off track. Um, yeah, so the online version usually has some restrictions. So I think with smallblueprinter.com, you can only print to your actual printer, save as PDF, and then you can save this image as PDF, which I might actually do actually. I might save it to um, where I have my backyard. So here, I'll just probably call it sketch idea one might have more ideas in the future so i'll keep playing around with this and maybe might come up with a much better design 